Hey. How's it going? Hi. <laughs> Yo, what's good everybody? We are back with another video. So today you see we got the mics, you feel me? We got the setup. Yes sir. You dig? Let me let me turn the hat so they can get some some, some more face action. Yeah, so it's your boy. T Saxy, TK, TK the Wonder, and then it's your boy. My name is David. David, <laughs> Mr. David Motor. So, this is my boy, you know, this is my, 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 my drummer dude, you dig what I'm saying? So, today we're going to ask him a couple questions. Pancake. But yeah, so we're going to ask him a couple questions. Um, He's going to answer them, and then afterwards we're going to give you guys a little snippet of us, you know, playing together, giving y'all a little, a little jam. Yeah. Gonna call it um, forty seven, <laughs> forty seven, chopping jams. We call it that, chop jams. So you know we get it, we chopping it up, and then we jam it afterwards. So that's what it's gonna be chop called, chop jams, chop jams with a Z. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So number one, how long have you been playing, David? Um, damn. <laughs> uh, I've been playing for like. Since I was like two. two. Yeah. Oh, so he was a pots and pans boy. Yeah, actually I was. Um, so he was in that thing. For thing, thing, the ting, ting. Yeah, he was in that thing with the pots and pans. Yeah. I uh, feel it. Yeah. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. So, as far as, so how, how many years is that? Like, it's like, 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 17 years. Is that how long you've been playing? Seriously? No. Okay. I, so, uh, yeah. Before you started playing seriously, when was like when was that, that um, period of time? So it was what until like when I started playing serious? Yeah, like eighth grade, ninth grade. Mm, probably it was it was probably like maybe four years ago, five four years, years ago. ago. But you were pretty it? decent. Up until I was now. yeah, because I was I was, a, I was a church drummer, I was a pocket oh, okay, drummer. Okay, you know what I'm saying? The pocket so boy, was, yeah. pocket boy, the skinny boy chops. Yeah, I feel you, the skinny boy yeah. pocket, nah, the skinny pocket. Just, you know, my my dad always told me pocket, so I was playing pocket for like I feel it nine feel it. years. Yeah. Maybe no, I think it was like it's like twelve years I was just playing pocket, and, nice, nice, nice. and then after I saw, I think it was, I don't know who it was, I think it was like Eric Moore. I saw him just chopping, he was like, ah, and I was like, damn, he was like, ah, I gotta, I gotta get, get on that, yeah, I gotta nice, get on nice, that, bro. Nice. You know, I actually started off playing drums too. I played a little, played a little some some you dig what I'm saying, but um, I was bad. <laughs> 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 yeah, I played in, I played in church a little bit. I think everybody starts out in church. Yeah. yeah. I didn't act to play, but you know. <laughs> whenever I did, I choked. So, right, yo! Next question. <laughs> next question. We ain't gonna talk about that one. We're gonna save that for another day. So, um, now when you did actually start playing seriously, what really, like, what was the main force behind you um, that motivated you to start playing seriously? Um. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, you just mentioned that, that you choked. Every time you would play, there was there was a point in time where I couldn't play after like a certain BPM, mm -hmm. so I was like really slow. Um, mm -hmm. And during the service, there there we, we, were, we were playing, and what had happened was, you know, the lady wanted to sing faster, mm -hmm. and I couldn't play faster, uh, and so it was like get all the jumps, yeah, they yeah Cheeks. yeah, it was like yeah, um, you gotta bounce, dog. MBK. Yeah, we need you to play today, fam. <laughs> they actually called my sister to play. Oh, that's your sister. Yeah, they called my sister. So my sister's a drummer as well. So my That's uh, tough. Wait. Michi? Yeah. So that's she tough. she they they called her and they were like, "Yo, Duh. hop on the kit, bro." Cuz this man was not getting it. And I was like, "Damn." So I had well, to get out. I mean, yeah, um, but they called LJ to come play. They called my little brother to play, bro. <laughs> that's another story, but yeah. I um yeah. yeah. That's, so that's that was like you was like all right, uh, I, I was like hell nice. no bro <laughs> y'all not about to make me uh, facts, yeah facts. so that that kind of pushed me and I was like all right I gotta I, feel it, I, I gotta feel get it. raw so like when you started taking it seriously how like how long did you practice a day <laughs> I mean because I know you of course you had time because you're like in high school and everything yeah so. if, uh, you know I would come home I would I would actually practice at school as well mm -hmm. um, since I was in jazz man and all that stuff I would. Facts. Go early in the morning, and I would. 
practice maybe about like 30 minutes before school facts, facts. during school like so during it was lunch. mainly like your your chops though wasn't it like mo- mainly mm, like con- rudiments and everything con- yeah rudiments rudiments mainly mm. because ru- rudiments is like the main thing that, mm, that is facts. Like, okay know. now say now how important is rudiments as far as oh. like you know for the people that want to learn drums or anything? yo rudiments are key um i was it, it's it's basically like just patterns that's that's all it is um the only way you you can progress into actually like expanding your abilities like you can go so far with no, like no rudiments yeah you can only go so far but after you like unlock two or three rudiments and you got them down pat where you don't got to think about them facts you open up a whole different book and i've only i only know like facts well i know a lot but i don't i don't really practice all of them i <laughs> probably practice probably like six seven yeah and like that makes sense i intertwine them and there's some yeah, new yeah. ones that like you have to incorporate your feet and all that stuff but mm-hmm. but yeah rudiments rudiments are very key and they can actually help you with groove as well mm-hmm. not only just cool. chops yeah yeah so yeah rudiments get on that rudiments. first 40 rudiments first 40 yeah. All right. Yeah, that's not for me. One day we're gonna do a video of you teach me how to play drums. See how bad I, <laughs> I mean. I don't like how much taller you look than me. Uh, there we go. Now this is the real representation of how we look in. No, nah, probably it's life. probably like <laughs> probably like that. <laughs> preachers, you know when the preachers be me, me, me get some water real quick. You can praise them. <laughs> Like answer mission, <laughs> answer mission before in the middle of us, at like two minutes into freaking, yeah. All right, so <sighs> yes, sir. <clears throat> um, damn. Oh yeah. So as far as I know, every musician has a go-to drama that they play. What is what's your go-to drama that you like? You know that you mainly like to play, or your comfort zone. Um. Damn. <laughs> Um, I keep getting out of the camera. What's going on? Uh, a com- comfort? Like, the one that I'm like... The one that you like playing the most. Like, you know. F- it would probably be funk. Funk? Funk. I feel it. Or, or like pop. Kind of funk, pop-ish. Mm. Slash mm-hmm. disco-ish. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because it's very... Um, yeah, I, there's a lot of opportunities. You yeah, can, you like can you can express yourself a lot. Very, a lot more. very well. Yeah, while can. doing less, actually, you can exactly. express yourself a lot more while doing. Even less. just doing simple things, you can actually, and and like, it takes you a lot. It 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 gives you a lot more variety. Yeah, almost like when I'm playing sax over like funk. That's actually my favorite too. Like when I'm playing, sax, you can only use one note and I can like use one note and then you. Well, you can use like what like two. Two, three notes. And make a like crazy and solo. Yeah, <laughs> and solo being insane. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's I, I love that. And, you know, because I kind of suck. So I don't want to play that many notes anyway. Yes, sir. I kind of suck. So I don't really want to play that many notes anyway. <laughs> you know, I probably should have had this up here the whole time. But, you know, it's all good. It's all good. Yeah, man. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> so. Now that um now that you know you've graduated high school and everything, you have jobs and stuff, you know, you got things to do, big boy. How, <laughs> how often do you practice and like what does your practice routine look like? Um I practice pretty much every day. <laughs> yeah. I'm almost well, almost every day. Yeah. Um so I'm 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 a real estate agent, so I don't really have to be out and about. Fact. So I can literally just be home and, and be working, Makes sense. making that bread. Um but uh, usually I'll practice pad. I'll, I'll like practice pad work in the morning, mm-hmm. and do do studies as well, like some real estate things. And I don't actually get on the kit until after like two thirty or two o'clock yeah. because my my uh, my cousin actually does school here. So oh, facts. yeah, so can't, I can't yeah. I can't be jamming out at yeah. like eleven o'clock or twelve facts. <laughs> while she's in facts, class. Facts, you know facts. what I'm saying? So um, after two o'clock I'll hop on the kit and um. I'll actually just practice rudiments on the kit, trying to get all that right. Depending on depending on the day, depending on what I'm feeling. Mm. Um, if I practice too much, like chops, mm-hmm. I get sick of it. Yeah. So I, I have mean, to. Yeah, that's true. That's I have, have to, to. I have to practice groove, and yeah. I have to practice metronome, 
always yeah. I'm always on that metro. Yeah, I try not to go into like um into like a routine, like a practice routine because mm-hmm. <clears throat> when I whenever I do that, I get really disinterested really fast. Yeah, because it's kind of the same thing over and over again. Is that a word? Disinterested. disinterested. It is now. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Shoot. I'm, I'm gonna do it after. <laughs> but yeah, so I like I like to um to do something different almost every day, like work on something different, and then like a couple of days afterwards, then I'll revisit it. You know, because and it's just like, you know, like I said, I, I, I get I get out of it really fast when I'm practicing mm-hmm. just one thing. You know, so I try my best to like make it as as diverse as possible when I'm practicing. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so as far as questions, I think that's about it. You know, that's about it. Then we're going to do another video with you. So in the comments, if you guys have any questions for your boy David, as far as like drums or anything, just, you know, just ask the man, you know, and then we'll answer them, stuff like that. And I'll have that on my Instagram as well, where you can um, also ask questions. I'll have his Instagram link in the description yes below. Sir. Um, yeah. So then we can get to you know to shedding <laughs> yeah, jamming a little bit you dig so uh, we're gonna do a little bit of funk do um, a little bit of everything yeah a little bit of funk what else trap <laughs> trap I like, tra- I like trap some beats. trap uh, I guess I'll try to play some trap saxophone that'll be lit but yeah so we'll see y'all then you dig oh god <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 